Hello, Building Trades 2020-2021. I am your instructor, Mr. Parpart, and uh, I am here at last year's Building Trades house, which now, after many hours, has finally been finished. And uh, we lost two months last year because of the COVID-19, but because I got a lot of you that uh, are first time in Building Trades here, I think all but one, I am going to go over what exactly is entailed in constructing a house. Now, there's a lot of behind the scenes work that goes on as far as paperwork and permitting and getting ready and finding a lot and finding vendors for your materials and knowing your local building codes and whatnot. But we are just gonna do a real brief walkthrough. This will give uh, some of you guys the chance to see the uh, culmination of your work from last year. I guess that would be just you, Shane. But um, anyway, right now we're at 1401 Sandpiper here. And this was uh, the building trades house over the last two years. So as you can see this front door behind me Nice, beautiful front door, which didn't look as good. Everything you can see on this house right now has been taken off and replaced by last year's class and uh, has pretty much been redone from where they were last year. Now, we did it with one section of building trades with about half the kids, half the time, plus losing two months at the end. Now, I know that this is going to be a little bit, a little tough for you guys trying to do this remotely, but I'm doing everything I can to get us out here on site. So, even if we lose a few weeks at the beginning, to uh, just being virtual because of COVID here, I think we can still be equally as productive with more people, more time out here um, as we were last year. Plus we'll be getting to start our own project. So right from the start here, here is the front of your house. There's 1401 Sandpiper Lane in Woodstock. There's your garage, front door, gable on the front side. As you can see, all new siding. All the siding has been ripped off, has been replaced. Uh, $3,000, $3,500 worth of siding right away into the dumpster. And we put some new stuff on because it was done poorly. Get around the side of the house, not a lot of windows here, but something unfortunately that my kids didn't get to do last year was work on the deck with me because that would have been our section of rough framing. Now, I know Shane, don't be disappointed, but here you go. Here's our little deck in the back of the house that we got. Nice little deck, big enough for a table, big enough for a grill, big enough to hang out on. Siding's finished all the way along the back. I will still be back here for the Little penetrations through the house right there to paint those a nice trim white. But as you can see, we have a yard. As you can see, we have our deck. Once again, 